It's the most wonderful time of the day. It's time for a brand new Wrath of Math lesson. Today we'll be going through another basic induction proof. Great practice. We'll be proving that 11 to the power of n minus 6 is divisible by 5 for every natural number n. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. This result also happens to hold for n equals 0, but we're concerned with the natural numbers for this particular proof. This is, I believe, exercise 97 from chapter zero of this wonderful little discrete mathematics book. In a previous lesson, we went over the previous exercise in that book. It's another basic induction proof. So if you're looking to get practice with your induction, check that lesson out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And you can definitely give that exercise a try yourself after watching this lesson, because this is a very straightforward proof and they're both very similar. So let's get into it. How the heck does induction work? Well, we want to prove that 11 to the power of n minus 6 is divisible by 5 for every natural number n. To prove this by induction, we begin with what's called the base case or the basis step. I'll just write basis here. This is our basis step. This is you know, based on the, the different metaphors people use for induction, people often say it's like knocking over a set of dominoes. I think that's the best analogy for induction. This is proving that we can knock over the first domino. That's what the basis step is. Proving that you can get onto the first step of the staircase or on the first rung of the ladder. Proving that the statement is true for the first number of interest. So we just need to show that our statement holds when n equals one, because that's the first natural number and the natural numbers are the numbers we're interested in. So when n equals one, does our result hold? Well, yes it does. Let's quickly observe. 11 to the power of one minus six is equal to 11 minus six, which is equal to five. Five is definitely divisible by five. Remember that being divisible by five means that you're an integer multiple of five. Five, of course, is the first integer multiple of five. If we multiply it by one, we get five. All right, so that's the basis step. We see that indeed our result is true. 11 to the n minus six is divisible by five for the first natural number, one. Now we move, move on to the meat and potatoes, the best part, the induction step. In the induction step of an induction proof, we make what's called an induction hypothesis. We assume that our result is true for some number that we're interested in. So we're saying assume that five divides 11 to the k minus six. That's what this notation means. It's exactly the same as saying 11 to the k minus six is divisible by five. That's what this means. So we're assuming this is true, that five divides this for some natural number k. k is in the natural numbers, because again, it's the natural numbers that we're proving this result about. We're proving that it holds for natural numbers. So we assume our result is true for some natural number, and we want to show this forces the result to be true for the next natural number. Going back to our metaphors, the basis step was proving that we could knock over the first domino. The induction step is proving that if one domino gets knocked over, the next domino will get knocked over as well. The basis step proves that we can get onto the first step of the staircase. The induction step is showing that if we can get onto one step, then we can definitely get on to the next step. Now, of course, assuming that our result holds for some natural number, this is perfectly legitimate because we proved that our result holds for some natural number in the basis step of the proof. So this is a totally fair assumption to make. And remember, let's keep our eyes focused on the goal. We're assuming five divides 11 to the k minus six. Our natural number is k. We need to show that this holds for the next natural number as well. So we want to show that five also divides 11 to the power of k plus one minus six. So how the heck are we gonna do that? Well, what might be helpful is writing an equation based on what we know about this notation, about what this means. 
because this is what we know, that 5 divides 11 to the power of k minus 6. Again, remember, this means that 11 to the k minus 6 is an integer multiple of 5. So we can write that in an equation like this. 11 to the power of k minus 6 is equal to 5 times j for some integer j. This must be true because 5 divides 11 to the k minus 6. And then, of course, since our end goal is to prove that 5 divides 11 to the k plus 1 minus 6, we want to prove something about 11 to the power of k plus 1 minus 6. We want to prove that this is equal to an integer multiple of 5. So how can we use this information to write this as an integer multiple of 5? Well, we don't have 11 to the power of k minus 6 in this expression, so we can't do substitution right now. However, we do have k factors of 11 in this 11 to the power of k plus 1. So let's go ahead and solve this blue equation for 11 to the power of k. Then we can substitute what we get into this expression, since we have k factors of 11 here, and maybe that will turn out useful. If you didn't quite follow what I was saying there, just watch and you'll see what we're doing. We'll solve this equation for 11 to the power of k, as in just add 6 to both sides. So 11 to the power of k is equal to 5j plus 6. And now look, 11 to the k plus 1 minus 6, what's that equal to? Well, we can rewrite 11 to the k plus 1 as 11 times 11 to the power of k, right? 11 times 11 to the power of k is 11 to the k plus 1. So, and then of course we need our minus 6. Then we can take this expression for 11 to the power of k, 11 to the k is equal to 5j plus 6, and substitute that bad boy in for 11 to the power of k. That's going to give us that this is all equal to 11 times 5j plus 6, 5j plus 6, and then of course our minus 6 at the end. Now we're almost there. All we need to do now is distribute our 11 through the 5j plus 6, maybe do some simplification and see if we can factor a 5 out of the expression to show that we have an integer multiple of 5. So if we distribute the 11 through here, what are we going to have? We'll have 5 times 11j. I'm not going to actually multiply the 5 and the 11 together because I know we're going to be interested in having factors of 5 since we're trying to prove that 5 divides this expression. So we'll keep the factor of 5 out like that. On the other hand, 11 times 6 is 66 minus 6 is just going to leave us with 60. And hey look, 5 times 11j is obviously a multiple of 5, and 60 is obviously a multiple of 5 as well. So indeed, we can factor a 5 out of this expression, out of both terms, leaving us with 5 times our 11j factor, plus 5 times 12 would give us back the 60. And so we see, since j is an integer, 11j plus 12 is certainly an integer, and so 11 to the k plus 1 minus 6 is equal to this, an integer multiple of 5. Thus, by definition of divides, 5 does divide 11 to the k plus 1 minus 6. Because that's what it means for 5 to divide this. This is an integer multiple of 5. So in conclusion, we see that our result holds for the first natural number, that was the basis step, and in the induction step, we proved that if our result holds for any natural number, it must also hold for the next natural number. And so indeed, 11 to the power of n minus 6 is divisible by 5 for all natural numbers. You can try plug in some natural numbers yourself into this expression and see that they'll always be multiples of 5. They'll always be divisible by 5. Pretty sweet. Hope this video helped you understand another nice basic induction proof. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the jolliest math lessons on the internet.